Hey Stampers, this is Stamping Mama from StampingMama.com, Eileen Judd, the demonstrator, and I'm here to show you how to make this, but it will be this one, and it's showcasing that what I've seen um, someone else made. I just changed it up a little bit. There's little differences in it, and, um, and I also want to point out this one. I made it. And it has similarities to the other one and i just wanted to show you that there's different ways to to use this window frame and here to inspire you and i'll put a link to how i made this card but i will not show how you make this card today but i will show you how to make this one okay we'll be using this happy scene stamp set along with the hearth and home window frame set and the paper I'll be using is Home for Christmas. Let's see. It's seen, you've probably seen a lot of different things done with this. I haven't really had to play with a lot of much, but I'm on a roll. It's November, maybe you get caught up. First, we're going to get our background stamp. Grab some early espresso ink. Oh, it's a little shaky. Oh, I want to point out to you that um, details and dimensions are on my website, stampingmama.com. So you want to know the dimensions and what sizes and what I've used to make this card, please go to stampingmama.com and use, use a little search engine and put maybe let it snow, um, Santa, cabin, you know those keywords and I'll pop up. I'll also put links below for you to click on and look at that if you want to do it that way. If you notice I have uh, done this a little backwards. Some people usually put the background stamp on top of the paper. The only problem with that is you run the risk of, um, for me I'd say screwing it up or getting like a blank spot right, right here in the middle and that not coming out well. This is slightly crooked, that's okay. I mean, what, what, what wood is actually perfect, you know? Ooh, here's going that I rubbed it right. Well, that's pretty good. We use chocolate chip ink for that. I like the fun names that Snappin' Up has for their colors. And then the next thing to do is we'll do an outdoor, uh, the outdoor background. And I bet you guys have seen this before. I'm going to use Mossy Meadow for this. Just color it in so I can get the different colors for the line, for the snow line. And a good covered. I chose to do the stump green. If you guys choose to do otherwise, it's Way up to you. And then this one is. I have no idea why I have to look out. Uh. Rain and mist. Go along the line here. Make sure I'm in the camera view.
sorry, it's checking the lighting. There. I want you guys not to get that glare. And then I'll do a brief um on it. Yeah. Should we do a new marker? Just to make sure it's nice and juicy. Usually with the uh, photopolymer stamps, you use a pierce pad, but when it's a small image like this, it's pressed down really hard, and the, the photopolymer actually sticks to the paper, so it's okay. Try to aim for the middle of the page. It's all up to you. Now, if you were using Santa Claus in the background like the other card I had, then you probably should put the tree line a little bit higher. Cool Party Ink. It's actually a really big sponge. I totally could have put that down. Got a rub and dab. Doing it right here is just rubbing. Give the element of um, ice in the background. And I'll leave it darker down here. And I probably should have put scratch paper behind this. A dimensional cardboard background. This is on top of wiper, whisper white cardstock. Where's my brain today? This is just for the skyline. Yeah, just dab if you want. More ink. There you go. See that? And I'll just take the opportunity to glue this window frame on it. Usually, I'd show you how to make these puppies on a big shot, but I already had so many cut out, I just decided to go for it. Now if you'd like to know how to use a big shot, just send me a comment below and I'll uh, give you a link to the video. Showing how to use a big shot. Of course, go ahead and go through prior videos and you can see how you use big shots in there. I'm gonna set that aside. White, whisper white cardstock. Ink. And I actually use memento ink on this. Sorry. The last time I did this. And oh. I want to point out to you, this is normally a straight word, line, I guess, sentence, whatever, but um, with photopolymer, photopolymer, you can actually sit there and curve it on your pair box and make interesting shapes. Some people like to snip theirs to get it to curve. You don't have to if you don't want to, and then I'm going to go ahead and 
fussy cut that out. So, it's my first video in a while. Missed you guys. It's been uh, busy, but I have been working on my website, so I have projects on there in case you want to catch up. Stampingmama.com. No, I mean, you could try to be perfect with this if you want to. Me, I, I don't mind if it's a little wobbly. Not exactly perfect. Up a bit. See, do that famous tag cut. Luckily, there's still enough left. Go ahead and fix it. Move the window on. If you want to use a double-sided adhesive tape, can if you want. I try to. I try to. Try to shift this guy to a little bit more to the left, just because I. Don't want the tree overtaking it. I'm trying to figure out where I want my Santa. I fussy cut him out of the Home for Christmas paper. He saved time and just went ahead and cut him out. Really easy to do. We're realizing that's a new one around me. Speaking to me. That's okay. To the person who's sending them to, most likely smashed because they read them through machines. So, that is my warning to you for extra secureness. 
two or three is better than one. Let's put the banner up here. I think the person I saw this from put deck the halls by the side of the let it snow. There you have it. It's just that simple. If you have any questions, please comment below. I'd love to answer any questions that you have. And remember to go to stampingmama.com and get the dimensions for this. If you would like a holiday catalog or Stampin' Up! catalog, please let me know. I'll head to stampingmama.com, go click contact, no, you can click contact or go to click catalogs and then fill out the catalog request form and I'd be happy to send you out some catalogs. I love to earn your business and thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!